Hello everybody. Welcome to the latest Worlds is EZT live stream. Bird clock is running late and now interrupting me. Hi. It's Sunday. It's time for another wild card stream of Lord knows what. Uh, we are getting to the point where coming up with good themes is becoming a challenge. Is either there's not enough games, or there's games that are way too long to do a whole group all at once. So today we're going to just be playing some unpreserved ZZT games that have ZZT in the title. We've got four today. Uh, one is a demo, one is marked as incomplete. So we're going to get those out of the way first, because nobody likes to end the stream on an abrupt ending. I haven't really looked into any of these beyond like looking at the text. So I don't really know what to expect whatsoever today. And I don't really even have a particular order other than these incomplete ones here. Starting today with the War of ZZT. Most of these have like no known dates, no known authors. There's they're just games that exist again. We can the battles that await you will not be beaten easy in the war of ZZT. You probably could have guessed that last part. This title screen is like incredibly derivative of Caves of ZZT. Which is not a style you see emulated particularly often. It's this flashing one letter at a time and a little blurb in the corner. I'm just waiting for it to say that this is shareware or you need to register this product or something. But let's uh, start this laid back Sunday with war. Ah. Okay. <laughs> what a start. This is a bold way to begin. How much of this ammo do you think we need? And at what point is it worth turning back? That should do. That's a lot of ammo. I'm gonna have a lot of regrets if I do need more than this. Okay, so we're starting with a ping pong path, no text, no nothing, just our choice of which way to go. Let's just go up to the tiger room. I mean, I guess this is a war. Oh, what are you up to? Nothing. Um, boy, I hope you're actually not checking for all the tigers to be defeated. Uh, we are already hitting the stat limit, so it's half the time I can't even shoot. Okay, this already needs... Oh, I'm trapped in here, too. I'm already regretting only picking up 420 ammo. My joke was not worth it. The more we start whittling these down... Transporters for, co for cover. Yeah, the transporters being actually on the water is nice. Alright, we are in the hunters. We can actually comfortably shoot them out. part is that these tigers are not intelligent enough that they move towards me. They're just vibing. I'm gonna actually make a break for it and go into one of these. I'm gonna be very upset if actually shooting all the tigers does not do anything to let me through. 
I also wish this guy gave me some ammo. Or not ammo. I have the ammo. I wish this guy gave me some health. Stop being patient for anything, I just immediately get shot a bunch. I hope the other rooms aren't like this, but I don't have high hopes. Okay, that used almost all the ammo, and the door still didn't open. Okay, next level! Oh, I... Oh. Hey. I guess this is your life now. I'm gonna... To open this back up. I'm going back into the ping pong bath. That's rough. I like the top right corner, at least. That's pretty. Right. Hope you like that ammo sound. That's true. At least there's a point to the ping pong path in some twisted sense. Oh, oh. Secret object. Uh, now I can't get out this way though because it's blocked by ammo. I have to take the long way around. It's the meanest thing. I will zap my way out from here, thank you. Ooh, um... No, it, it died. It was... It was blocking the transporter, it was invisible. But now there's nothing there. Now the problem is just, there's ammo blocking the exit. Okay. This poor guy's gonna hit the water now, sorry. Okay, they'll recover. Ah, the Overseer. If not any tiger, send ending. I do this all the time, too. Apostrophe is the, the symbol used for a comment. Th these are not comments. Oh, that, yeah, that gave me 10,000 health. Okay. So this is all on me. Anyway, we're in trouble now. Because this is probably just going to loop infinitely, right? Roughly. going to loop infinitely at cycle three. Mm, we're just... Sorry. We're not going to play this board. My options are to constantly be hitting the enter key. Or I can just destroy the objects. And then, of course, I could play this board. But I don't particularly want to. We... We already shot the tigers. I think we understand the, how, how the tigers work. And, you know, if we don't... Why is this hurting me when I fire? I know the Salamon does weird things with bullets, but... They should be turning around. See, now, because this is a later level... Oh yeah, like, without a doubt, this is... It is just a constant thing with CCT games, where they are 100% obviously not tested whatsoever. The person made that, they saw that their object works. They decide, well, I don't need to do this ever again. Oh, we got a super tiger in the lower right there. 
the one that's firing like an infinite amount of bullets at us. So, oh, we got another. Too many tigers that are too powerful. The higher intelligence makes this easier though, because they just keep actually lining up with my shots. Oh, I guess because of the intelligence, yeah. Nice. Terrific! Will you let me go, though? Next level. Okay, are you also going to... Hell yeah. Do your big ol' loop. They're so excited. Somebody's actually playing their game. Alright. And we got some... Variety. No, now they just throw stars. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Okay, well this is different. They don't usually spawn objects everywhere, that's for sure. This is like... A train wreck in a fascinating way. <laughs> <laughs> you can see all the shenanigans that happen. Some of the stars are moving extra slow, some of the tigers are now bullet crazy tigers. Uh, a star go into the wall. Let's just, just vacuum everything up. It's the only way. Brutal. How are we gonna top this board, though? I know I said this this one's incomplete, so it it might just end. Terrific. Oh, oh, you're gonna have a fun path, actually. Oh no. They're all. I have a lot of questions about what actually happened on this board. Well, now they have friends. Ooh. Okay. We've got an object. I'm worried it's just going to throw... Bueno dia! I'm worried it's just going to throw stars, but I guess not. Thank you for the resub, J Guns. Three months. This minute. That cut off. Oh, I thought that was your message. This minute, as in you resubscribed this minute. Thank you, Twitch. Well, there's the stars. Please. Wonderful. You've almost completed your mission. That was the best board yet, by a long shot. Oh, wait, we're going left. Oh, this might just be the ends. The only exit is back. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of other boards, though. Did we start on the wrong board? I think it did. Maybe we were supposed to come from this way. Yeah, that exit is blocked, because there's probably a dude... Well, it's only going to get easier then, I guess. What's this start like? This looks about right. 
ammo by the hundreds. Hmm. This is far more manageable than the tigers, though. The game didn't make any sense, it's because we started right in the middle of it. It's... The most amazing thing is how mostly playable this is. our purple guy's message because grabbing ammo too fast but there they go okay having all this health and ah lions okay yeah this is how you this is the gentle introduction See, now that I'm an expert at the War of ZZT here. Next level. It's weird that the objects go away, though. That one's moving diagonally. What is that one's deal? Are there... I'm moving normally. This, this might be an early instance of somebody figuring out you can spoof diagonal movement if you walk and move at the same time. Which always makes for extremely difficult targets. Next level. Fourth battle. There's like one more board that was a junction that said, oh, we're at our stat limit. Hey, there's a tiger. They had some interesting code. They definitely, yeah, did not move how you ex would expect enemies to move in these games. Look out! Boss! Uh oh. Guten <laughs> Tag! They eat everyone just speaks a different language. Oh my. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess that was just the first boss. Hmm. Now, the whole ping pong path of ammo thing is really weird because they clearly know how to just give the player ammo. Also, I think this is going to be the last board and it's going to connect with the, where we actually started. Oh, yeah. Well, we can actually see it again. They're starting to... I think what it is is they're trying to seek the player. 
so when I'm not aligned, that ends up being diagonal? Well, no, that one kind of moved diagonally southeast when I was to the southwest. Yeah, we'll pop open the editor for a second after this, because this is the end. The war is over. It's gonna be 100. First you. 14 out of 17. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, there you go. Ah, okay. A little bit more to the left. I think we get the idea here by this point. Mostly tigers. That is how I would describe this world. Oh, sure. I I do like the the bosses and the music. I think that's fun. Yep, and there's there's how we first started. Okay. Well, that was the war of ZZT. That was not great, but somehow still charming. It had the right amount of weirdness to make what little was there tolerable. It was just enough to, to keep going. Let's take a look at those. Not some of those objects real fast. Yeah, there's turn here. I think these are all the same bind enemy. Well, clockwise speak. Now maybe these early ones don't move enough. It was definitely happening by here. If a line charge, I. Everybody always calls it charge. Okay, so. Oh! Huh. That's not. First of all, that doesn't work how you think it does. You can't do restores like that normally. And then you're already locking and dying, so none of that matters. Oh, is that to try and get away? around the bind problem? Because all these other ones, oh, these ones don't, but other ones were bound to each other, and then they would, like, share that. That would kind of... Is that actually effective? You wouldn't need all of these, but wait. You would then... That kind of works. I'm surprised I haven't seen that, actually. It's an interesting game. Okay, yes, there we go. We're just walking seek. And then with all these, these are all going to be like diagonals, usually. Alright. Words easy T. Truthfully better than it looked. The other file name for our incomplete game is this one. The ZZT Project demo version. And here's Maria, everybody. This is a family game. Right, let's have one of those classic, wonderful, CCC magic fights. Very Mission Enigma inspired. Well, oh, when the lions became tigers, became forest. What did you do? The same I'll do to you if you don't get to the game. Oh, that was a third character, Jeremy. Is that the author? Yeah, you, the player. Press P now. I think so. Yes. Well, do now, because I gotta go now. Okay, very quick title screen, at least. Let's see what the ZZT project is. Ooh, okay, I'm more invested already. Rise and shine, player! Today's going to be a very special day. Get moving.
Nothing but news. Do you want to watch the news? Yeah. Okay, fine with me. This is an emergency news bulletin. The evil and insane Dr. Flop has been constructing a new type of lion and tiger. These lions and tigers will be so tough. Remember how if you touched a lion or tiger, it was killed and you were zapped? Well, now you can still touch them and you are still zapped. But this time they can't be killed by being touched. More on these nasty creatures later today. I'm glad I watched the news. Very informative. Oh, this must be Jeremy. I'm also the creator of this game. The text got a lot slower here. Anything to talk about? Not right now. You can help me out later. Always good to see an author self-insert. It's mom. She's sleeping too. Oh, is this one house? I was interpreting each of these buildings as different homes. Your house. Floor one. So we have a suit generator in our house. It's dad. He's sleeping. Yuck. Underwear. I'm not taking this. No reason to leave. Okay, well, let's generate a suit. Welcome to the suit generator. Do you have a reason for getting a suit? Not really. One month later, the world blows up. Game over. <laughs> Press escape. If only I had had a reason to get a suit. This is like a very crude like, Alexis Jansen game knockoff. We got, I guess this is the Code Red part. The title screen was very Mission Enigma. All right, we have, we have a reason to get a suit. I need to save the world. Okay, I'll now be generating the suit to you. Good suit. Um... But I didn't open the door. Get out of my way. I always say this to doors before I open them. Today is January 2nd, 2002. Scanning for suit. Okay, I found the suit. I love that it's just called a suit. Not like a power suit or something. It's just... We're just really nicely dressed. Ooh. The Dark Forest. No, you ripped them off. This game is definitely for your Samus game. You just didn't realize it. Little pyramid of sorts? Inside Volcano, okay. Another game that's really flirting with the sat limit for board. Oh, well, it's a good thing the War of ZZT trained me for this. Oh, those are our Star Tigers, too. Volcano. Oh, it's a fake. I see. The old fake key trick. Guess them every time. Uh oh. Hang on. We gotta. Let me guess it's this one, because this one's probably more of a pain to get to. Yep. Well. So much for that. I guess this one's more of a pain now, because I'm being shot. On both sides. Let's lightly wait out these stars. They're not going to. 
The tigers are being uncooperative and not moving against the walls. And I've made things worse. Look at this. Why is this an option? Tim Sweeney thought game designers would have restraint. And he was incredibly wrong. Conquered the volcano. I arrived to get interrupted to register this game. I don't remember editing this one. Is this going to be am I about to see an address? I want to interrupt and let you know to register this game. It's pretty cheap for a game this good. Oh no, that's right. I did edit this. It's only five dollars. But you're saying why give this guy five dollars or check for it? Here's why. Complete walkthrough of this game. Awesome hint sheet. Only register users get the ZZT Project 2 as soon as it is out. You'll be put on our mailing list, so future games will be sent to you as soon as they're released. If you want to play the ZZT Project 2 and any other future sequels, you're going to have to register. Here's how. Send $5 cash or check to Jeremy Brannon. Register today. You can do it. Okay. Uh we should... uh, it is basically zero. We have found... We got... We actually managed to get Software Visions. They're like complete collection disc. Those are probably the best-selling, not epic published CZT worlds. By which I mean, I believe, I believe they sold five or more copies. Uh, we've got a handful of other stuff, but it's generally in the sense of the author eventually said the hell with it and just released the registered version. Like, I don't think we have a, any documented instance of somebody saying, yes, I registered for Barney Exterminator 2 or Project ZZT or anything like that. We've never seen these, these fabled hint sheets and walkthroughs we've heard so much about. Oh, this helps put a date on this one. Is this the one that has a date? Only one of these games has a date. And it's this one. Okay. What might be our future ZZT games? ZZT Projects. The ZZT Game Thingy. ZZT Project 2. No games. 1999. We're finishing off the century, decade, and millennium with a lot of cool ZZT games. Really, the ZZT Project Turbo for Megazooks. That's great. The ZZT Project 2 Turbo. The ZZT Project 3. Not. Oh, okay. That one comes for ZZT and Megazooks. Also, is this in any way. Just the name format. Is this in any way related to the Journeyman Project Turbo? The Barney Trilogy. See, registered has 10 episodes. The Adventures of Mr. Cool. ZZT Project Arcade. ZZT Project Arcade for Megazooks. The final ZZT battles of the 20th century. Well, these are a lot of great sounding games. Jeremy, I'm clicking your name on the museum. Okay, we have zero other games credited to this author, so. Sorry, everybody. You'll have to play some of the other Barney trilogies out there. But if someone wants to go to digitalmzx.com and, and see if Jeremy has anything there. Well, a nice little break. Now back to this. Now the worst part is this guy has already introduced the idea of fake keys. So if this red one is fake, I'll be upset. Well, we're getting our exercise today at least. 
Robotics Mega Manual. Okay, so this, I mean, good for him. He, he made something else. Does it have any reviews? Oh no, we're stuck on this board. Um. Okay, the island. Boy, some of those board titles are a little spoilery, though. Garden of Bleeding. We hate you. 0 0.5 out of 5. Sorry, Jeremy. Maybe maybe he got discouraged after this. Yeah. That tracks. Two reviews. Maybe I should actually do a stream of, like, ZZT help guides. Because they're also all of dubious quality, I would say. Okay, well, at least alien ship docking bay. That tracks. I, I can read this as an alien ship. I wouldn't have if I didn't see the board title and, like, the upcoming board titles, but... I, I get it. The UFO takes off and goes into space. Excellent art. Now releasing the super tires. Uh-oh. Soon the universe will be mine. It's time to test one of these tigers. I think I'll test it on that strange UFO I saw earlier. Oh no, it's a super tiger. I'm curious if there's going to be a special message if we touch them. Nope. Didn't hurt. a challenging tiger. Once again, the war of ZCT has paid off. Well. That's not the correct... Um. I don't know what board name that was. Presumably Alien Room. Yes, okay. Alright, is this Marge Simpson? No, that's a computer. Hello, human. I'm really someone else, but I'm working on some reviews. Touch the computer to do whatever. Raise force field. Raise it again. Save your game and then self-destroy. Suit yourself. I did at the start of this game. Activate engine. Oh no, I can't activate the engine because I raised the force field and there's no option to lower the force field. Open ship door. Take off. Give me the red key. I was hoping we get to read this alien's reviews. Well, I guess, we can, I guess this was the self destruct. Ooh. Warning. Player's death registered on alien ship. Player had self-destructed the escape ship. Unluckily, he needed that escape ship to escape. Days later, the ship blew up when it was destroyed. Game over. Bad ending. All right, well, if we end the demo nicely. Hope you enjoyed this demo. Look out for the full version, hopefully, this summer of 1997. And if we go in the passage from this side... Aha, that fool, he let me escape. I. I. Uh, warning. Bad direction. Player's death threat. Oh, uh, well. He allowed a bad guy to escape. Days later, the alien ship was destroyed. Tragic ending. This kid can't win. That was... Hmm... Trying, I guess. It's definitely somebody who was very excited at being able to make their own video games and instantly planned the next 20 they were going to make.
And the people on the title screen didn't show up, did they? I guess maybe we were one of them. I don't really know what that game was about. There's Super Tigers. I don't, I don't know what we were really going for there. What our plan was. But, I mean, that's, that's the ZZT project. Now, let's see, let's move on and see which one of these is D. Ah, ZZT Fight! I don't know why this file is called D. Also... Oh, was there a Prodigy ID? That's always great. Let's put Blinking Black on. There we go, this is the... Intended title. Got the... Super Toolkit Fireworks launchers up top there. Shooting their little stars. Hmm. Fight. Slow marquee. Welcome to ZZT. Oof. I'm immediately being attacked by snakes. I, I assume they're snakes. Let one bite me. I think that's just like a slightly off ZZT Hurt sound. Alright, this is one. We had a lot of action games today. This is one where I want to see what these objects are named, if anything. Do not touch. This is going to free all those creatures. You have 10 seconds. Well, you know, five, not if there's water. And now they're tigers. What was the point of that? Choose one. Well, I think this is an easy choice. I'll go for the one that doesn't seem to be throwing... Well, there's some stars. That seems a little bit more manageable, though. Let's go for the top. Drink a potion? Glug, glug, glug. Minus ten! Glug, glug, glug. Ten health. Okay, you can drink the hearts. Are they all the same? I think they're all the same. Oh. Oh. It's a very chaotic game. Oh, that was... Oh, the fading things. Okay. I thought it was the... Pound signs that we're actually doing the shooting. Everything is exploding and. There's a centipede. Uh, okay, so the bombs can't actually destroy those, which is weird. Oh, that was a pouch, okay. I need to find some more pouches with 20 health, actually. Especially if I'm gonna do that. Okay, we're not going. We are going to die. We're just not going to die to the snakes. Until now. Now we are. Let's try this. Let's just go into the bank, actually. We're saved right out here. Hey, the, I love the mysterious health as an, as an excellent thing. Health, four H's. Ammo, four A's. Question marks, pushers, and hmm. Break in, break in. Guards. Oh, God. Gotta get all this hyper ammo and hyper health, I guess. Goodbye. 
that's a frightening board. Way too aggressive snakes. looking ship of sorts. We had we had missiles, which I immediately squandered. And I don't think they were done much. Oh this is this is a mess. I don't know if the green things are supposed to be allies or not. Super dang it. Game over. <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing on this board? Tanks, Rook. Actually, is there anything left? I just assumed this was something. M. Yeah, that did nothing. Is that... There's a whole lot of boards left, and I don't know how to get to them. There's a passage, but is the passage... back? Okay, so we were supposed to somehow survive that, I guess. Choose your weapon. Grenades, ga gatling gun, or bombs. I don't trust ZZT explosives, so let's go with the gatling gun. What's, what do the other options do? Grenades. Hmm, okay. Well, and if, if it's actually doing something, let's just run with our Gatling gun and see. Your weapon. Okay, well that's not actually going to help. Objects can't shoot creatures. I can only really do anything about these trees. I guess we're also on an alien ship? Well... Some of these boards that look at least look okay. I'm a bit worried about the hundreds of keys. Let's see the line inside. This might be dumb. Maybe I should have went with the bombs. Right, to the east. Boss fight. Some sound design. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. I guess that means I kill you. I guess so. By the way, you're ugly. That's it. Die. Ah, one of these bosses. Okay. Is this some more hyper ammo? Ten ammo. That's not nearly enough. Actually, I should probably save these bombs. I'm sure one of these is going to be tigers.
I'm gonna try something. Oh, gee willikers, you got past it. I'm overjoyed. Okay, I guess that bomb kind of helped out a little. Eat my heads. What? You know. Good dialogue here, at least. I hope I don't actually need these bombs to fight the guy himself. I'm not gonna get anything there. Okay. Nope, just a red key. We got him. So onward to the last room of this. Oh boy. Did we just run? Let's see. Got one hell of a disco floor in the bottom there. Oh, somebody died. Aha! Uh -huh. Super kit! Heck yeah! I don't know if I need to actually like, shoot these guys or what. They're not letting me know what I should be doing. suppose. Ooh, that explosion. Did I get hurt there? I thought I got hurt. Ooh, we got the, the classic CCT power armor. Armor up. Press down on your super armor to arm up. Don't get out of your suit or you'll die. This is a recurring theme. Oh. Oh, okay. That was an airlock. I... I don't think this is how airlocks are supposed to end up working, but we're saved. Prepare to fight the boss next. I like the colors. I am the boss. You dare to challenge me? Yes. Well, okay, Mr. Man, sir. That's the, the perfect game to play after finishing the... Well, no, not the latest series of JoJo, but the second to latest. Oh, ricochets. Hang on, what's this guy up to? Oh, the, okay, that's actually something in my favor. I just get a bunch of free stuff when I shoot the boss. Oh 
many hits though. Too many hits. Wait a second, he'll just throw the stars directly into the ricochets. There we go. We've defeated the boss. Made a mess of the room, but... You won! Now, wasn't that cool? There's a prodigy address. Hi now. <laughs> um, you might want to move those line walls down, like, literally one space. That's okay. Well... That was ZZT Fight. Team number three of four. And we got one more, which... Seems like it's the most involved. JJ Foots, The Legend of ZZT, starring our hero, Connect. Journey to a land that resembles, resembles Link's Awakening for Game Boy. Only this time, you are in ZZT. The people and places seem alike, but aren't. The title screen is great, though. This looks neat. I'm very curious what we're going to get out of this. And I absolutely love our hero, Connect. We're going to start in a dark room. It appears to be a map. Maybe Village, west. Glop and Go Swamp, north. Jar Grotto, further north. Tail Cave, south. Yoo-Hoo Prairie, east. Hawks Tower, further east. Beware of the... Scroll crumbles in your hands. You may never know what you should be beware of. We're going to connect to the... You nudge the owl. It is asleep. I will not... Uh-oh. Oh no. Be nice to the owl. Hey. What's this? The breeze pass. Finally awoke. Hoo -hoo. Hello, I'm an owl. Get your sword, and then, uh, oh yeah, you should go through tail cake now, but I see you later, I think. Cool dialogue. Oh, the scroll did not actually crumble. Is this an empty room? Almost. Alright, you said north, right? Tail cave. South. Tail cave is down. You must get your sword before you go to the tail cave, okay? Hint, the shop and maybe village sell swords. All you have to do is find some money to pay for it. Okay, so don't listen to the owl. There's something invisible here. Why is this room dark? My name is the guy in the shop. I sell a variety of items, so make sure you have a lot of money and come in and buy something. I am in house number three. Hello, my father, Taryn, and I live in house number one. My name is Marlin. Won't you please come in and join us? I'm Miss Moo Moo, and my dog is Woof Woof. He's so proud of his fur jacket. We live in house number two. Come on in. House number four is the fad game. I own the place, and I left to visit my brother, Sale. He runs a house o burgers by the bay. I used to paint portraits of hippos, but this business draws a larger crowd. That's depressing. Please come in and play it a few hundred times.
Oh no, my mic is off. Oops. We're missing some choice dialogue. I wanted... I lied and I said I was Link and they called me out. And then they agreed to call me Connect anyway. And gave me a cam. And it exploded in my face. I'm joined. What a strange game this is. Okay. Who's in here? Miss Moo Moo, hi, bye. Ah, this is me. Yes, Woof Woof's room. Woof Woof bites you, wonderful. This was the shop. See something you like? Give me 40 gems and get it. There isn't even any tax. Be very to decide quickly because the customer over there is about ready to make his purchase. I don't have 40 gems, so boo bye. Be a strange blob. Blob of much aim. It could be gain, but then again, it could be pain. You decide to get not to get it. This game is fun. But can we shoplift? Oh, we can't buy a sword, apparently. Whoa. Oh, oh no, we'll never know if it was the... Well, what if I just don't go in that building? We'll find out if it's gain or pain that way. This bad game has been automated. Please pay at the controls. I don't have money. Also, I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I'm ready to play the exciting fad game that, that's the new hotness. Well. Okay, so first the game tells you to go to Tail Cave. And then you go there and it says, well, you need a sword first. Oh, yes. Well, you didn't miss anything. <clears throat> then the game tells you to get a sword in the village. And then you go to the village, and there's no money. I can't buy a sword. I'm gonna take out this tree in my frustration. So then, instead... Where can we get money here? What's north? Hop and go swamp, dark grotto, yoo prairie. Let's try the prairie. Well... There's a torch. Cute joke. Get the, can't get ammo. Ah, gems! Welcome to the scary forest. Hey, 
I touched something I was not supposed to touch, apparently. A fake gem. That rules. This game really needs to give me more torches, though. Okay, we've, we've got money, though. We can buy a sword. Well, as long as we're here. Level 3, Hawk's Tower. Can I get in? No. I mean, presumably I can try some sniping from a distance here, but... Good luck, and also I can only fire one shot on a time on this board, which is not going to work in my... Well, I'm stuck here. Never mind. Alright, we gotta play the fad game. Maybe we can win some torches. How's this work? Touch me again when ready. Oh. Okay. What I win? 30 gems! You can play the game three more times with this. Why did... Weird walls appear. I can't play again. Where are you? You're at the back door. What back door? Maybe the fad games. Why am I getting this dialogue again? Is this a different board? It is. The tree is back. Why is there a second copy of the village? What the? This one seems broken. Ooh. Hello. Hang on. Big money. How many boards are coffee to do this? You got ten torches. You light one. Neat. Another 30 gems. Fake ammo. You can shoot 30 times with this. Not in here, though. Actually, yes in here. I'm just gonna see what this last one is, because it's unwinnable here, at least. The old fake scroll. Okay. I thought it might be a shield. That's bizarre. And then it just brings it back to the first one. What a weird game. Alright, we can buy this weird thing, though. It, it wouldn't let me. Hmm. Well, I got a sword. Now you can shoot neat-looking circles. Is this going to take me to a different copy of the village? Or the starting board? How is this game arranged? What? I have questions for you, Owl. Please tell me what's going on. Well, I can't even beat him up this time. Why is there a third copy of this board? Can I play the fat game again? No, this puts me... I know Zelda games usually do, like, time travel stuff, but... This is like a multiverse. Which one am I on? Regular start, okay. I have a sword. Can I go to Tail Cave? No. All right. 
right, can I go north? Not the right key. You must beat the tail cave first. Well, I'm trying. I don't know. I'll only let you throw on the clone version of that board. Oh, maybe, actually. Yeah, let's go back to the shop. Is this the shop where I bought the sword? Yes. Which puts me in start shoot. Puts me in tail cave shoot. I was about to say, oh, it, the author is doing this very elaborate thing because they don't know how to use flags, but they do. So why is this like this? There was some CZT game where, like, you get a choice of, at, like, early on for two paths or something, or a different item, and it doesn't know how to actually use flags, so there's literally two copies of every board for the rest of the game after that point, depending on which one you choose. But this is even weirder. Well, you're right, though. Okay, we're gonna get the tail cave. Oh no! Buzz buzz in spider. Let's tunnel our way into the die room. some of this is victim of die move there are just things random things disappearing well the the enemy here vanished right when I like touched that door so that seemed deliberate I haven't noticed any peculiar behavior other than that oh, oh okay uh, I did notice the corner of this board was yeah oh and there's one of the keys there's like three versions of this board though so God forbid if you open a door in the wrong timeline. The breeze bait. Okay. It's the wind fish, I see. Um, I guess level two is Jar Grotto. Okay, now I'm allowed in here. Oh. No, you are a foe. Are you unique? Hello, I'm Mr. Starboard. I'm Mr. Wright's cousin. Okay, that's... Can't decide if that's good or not, actually. We're a lot alike, except I'm not weird. <laughs> Here, I learned this trick by the bay. But I haven't tested it yet, and I don't know exactly what it does. You better step back, just in case, though. Whoa, hey. <laughs> what a talent. Mr. Starboard. Level 2, Jar Grotto. I'm just curious how much of this game exists. Oh, one, only one shot allowed, okay. Don't miss. I missed. This is just how I remember it. I've never actually finished this game. As in, 
By which I mean Link's Awakening. I've also never finished Connect's adventure here. This is a strange one. Oh, we get a cool boss. We get a boss. Oh, I missed. Okay, right, don't. Don't miss. Well, that was an easy one. And I guess now it'll let me go to... Whatever that's, the Hawk level? Kinda make me walk all the way back here. Come on, man. The game you the game you're like inspired by had warps. Give me one. Really wants me to go around. Oh. Oh, oh right, because the color didn't match. Oh, but now it's putting me in this timeline. Okay, so presumably this won't work. So I think I need to go back to level one. Get to take okay, shoot. Okay. Go back here. Back through here. This puts me in the, the have a sword timeline. Is that by you again? This is a, a wild way to design your game. Level 3, Hawk's Tower. Okay, please, like, open up. No. Can't shoot. The Prairie 2. We haven't seen this version. This is just gonna be... Oh, hang on. That's... I guess this is the right one. I don't know how we're supposed to get here normally, but there's an exit now. But this is just the same one as those. Okay, so it's not that one. Maybe it is. There's only, it looks like there's only one board left. These are all checked. I'm just gonna go in here and get this last key. Very lowly miss. Well, I was saving this for last because I thought it was going to be a little more exciting than the others. Oh my goodness. Oh, my... Frozen time. Still isn't helpful. Okay. So maybe I was supposed to get in from the other side? Where is this going to take me? This is going to take me, yeah, to that exit. Which, okay, apparently, now we know, transporters, when you're on a passage, break passages. That's fine. Oh, they really break them, actually. That destroyed its stat. Now we're on the title screen. With a bunch of player clones. Send help. 
There goes all my ammo. Okay, let's... We've got the keys. There's one board we didn't see, though. Oop. Missed the text. I don't think I actually ever put it reading. Oh, right. In the breeze bass, yawn. I yawn. I'm about to yawn. Awaken. Yawn. Bye. Yawn. Well, that was sure worth it. And that also makes us dead on the title screen because there's other players. What's this one board? Lard. Different bad game? I don't know. This game is gonna give me a headache the more I think about it. That was bizarre. I I think we're done here. <laughs> that is The Legend of ZZT, everybody. It's very confusing. I think that's gonna be it for today. It's all four of our strange and surreal games. None of which particularly impressed, honestly. But most of them weren't, like, horrible, horrible. They were, like, tolerably bad games, I think, in general. They had some good title screens. There's at least that going for them. But man, I do not comprehend what this game was doing with its copy boards. Very surreal. But, <clears throat> that will be all for today. We'll be back again on Friday. Based, playing something based on the results of this poll, which I am posting now so I can trick all of you into voting for right now. I want to see a bajillion votes. Do it, right now. Pick a game. The replies have the title screens. You can do it. And then we will be back again next Sunday with more wildcard variety, and who knows what we'll find. Maybe another game that resembles Link's Awakening for Game Boy. Maybe not. But that'll do it for today. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you next time. I'm going to try and start getting in the habit of doing a raid here at the end. I know Piero is playing Sneakers speedruns on the Xbox. I'm going to send you all that way. Please vote in the poll. Alright, thanks for watching. Later.